Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put experimental features on a server and a realm. Today we'll specifically be using Ryburn hosting. However, the process can be done with any other server using BDS software. So the first thing we're gonna to do to make our lives easier is we're gonna get hit uh, Windows and R at the exact same time. I'm just gonna open up this run command uh, prompt here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put uh, the per percentage sign, app data, another percentage sign. And then you can click OK. It's going to go ahead and open you to here. For whatever reason, it keeps opening to my roaming directory automatically, but we don't want to be in there. What we're looking for in here uh, is our Minecraft package files. That way it makes our lives easier. So app data and then local. And then we want to go to package files since that's what we're looking for. And then we want to find Microsoft.Minecraft. We still have to go into local state games and this folder right here is what we're looking for so we can actually go ahead and right click this and pin to quick access so that way you don't have to find it later and once it's pinned there you can kind of uh see all your uh directory files but what we're looking at today is is minecraft worlds and we're going to need this later we're actually going to go ahead and create a world with experimental features enabled we need to focus on these right here the pack that we're using doesn't use all these. However, just to make sure that everything works properly, um, we're just going to enable all of those. I'm also going to enable t uh, cheats as well. So what I'm also going to go ahead and do is, if you plan to use a pack on the server, uh, then I would go ahead and uh, enable the pack on here. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and just name this, so that way I know where it is later. So we have experimental features on. Uh, we have cheats on and we have the pack on the world because I'm going to do this server uh, tutorial first. So we're actually going to go ahead and create this. What I'm using right now is called UAC. Uh, it's also called Unity Anti-Cheat and we'll actually get a pretty cool welcome message here in a few seconds. Greatest thing about this is that it also tells us if experimental features are on or not by using some uh, cool wizardry in the background. Uh, so we'll always know whether or not it has succeeded or whether or not it has failed, it will tell us. So now that the world is created, we can go ahead and save and quit. And we're going to need this worlds file right here. So what you can do is uh, you can go ahead and click on this date modified right here. And that will put the world that we just made to the top. So on this top, if we click on level dot name, that is the world that, or that is what we named that world. Yeet. So then what I want to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to delete everything in this uh the server directory. Um, in BDS you can simply just reinstall the uh the BDS files uh for that current Minecraft Bedrock version. But what I want to do after deleting all those files is I'm just going to go ahead and, and reinstall uh the server. So that way it's a clean slate for me. So that might take some time for me. That just took about 35 seconds. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to uh, not open the server just yet. Um, a practice that I used to do is just kind of start the world. So that way it would generate some world files for me. We're not going to do that because this is very important uh, that we go ahead and uh, make our own world file directory and not generate one on the server just yet. As if we do, we may actually encounter some problems and um, the experimental features will not stick correctly. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create a new directory. Uh, we're going to make this uh, worlds. And just have this in our main kind of section here. Uh, in worlds, we're going to actually create another directory as well. Uh, so we're going to just name this uh, test and yeet, because why not? So in this uh, test and yeet uh, directory is where we're going to put all our world files here. Uh, so all these loose files, all the level and world files, we're actually going to drag that into there. And you'll notice that we also have some cool stuff in here as well. Uh, we have this DB folder, so we're actually going to create that directory in here, uh, just DB. So I'm going to go inside that directory and uh, take all our DB files and throw them in there. Now. For the other files inside this world, uh, where we have you know behavior packs and all that cool stuff, um, we're not actually we're not actually going to copy these over, as usually if you want to have a realm that would be fine. Um, this is why when putting an add-on onto a world and then that world onto a realm, 
why those behavior packs would work is because it is stored on here. However, um, for a server, especially if you're using a data file, oh, I'm sorry, a data pack, um, these are not the places where you want to put the uh, behavior pack. You actually want to put the, uh, you want actually want to go to the main directory outside and you want to go into this behavior packs uh, fo folder. And this is where you'll be putting your behavior pack. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I sent it into a MC uh, pack earlier. So I want to throw this in here real quick. This is UAC 2.4. So now that that's all fine and dandy, what the last thing we need to do, and this is very important or um, it won't actually detect the world properly, is take note of what we named this world. It's going to be uh, test yeet, test underscore yeet. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, server properties here. And the very uh, important thing is, is that we change uh, this level name uh, to the world that we named it. So it would be test underscore yeet. So now that we have all that taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and wake up the server. And we actually should see a console log output that will tell us if we did everything correctly. And it will be this log right here, experiments active. And it, as you can see, they're all, all there. Now, if you don't see this, I would go ahead and kind of pause the video, go back a little bit because we may have messed something up. But if you see this, then we're good. That sound is kind of a bug with the pack, so please don't, uh, please don't worry about that. I'll actually turn the sound off here right now. I apologize for that sound. That's kind of a bug in 2.4. I'll have to go ahead and fix that. But as you can see right here, uh, the experimental features uh, and game test are enabled here. Uh, so some cool game uh, game test stuff that we can test out in this pack is such something like custom commands where we do uac.help and that's kind of just the uh, the main uh, you know directory command for all the custom commands we have in here and this anti-cheat uh, but you also see the other experimental features are enabled as well uh, we can test that by uh, doing certain events in the uh, in a pack that has custom events inside of it it's kind of like uac has custom events in here uh, all these events are uh, down in here, and we can uh, call upon all of them. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do this, uh, but same thing, but just for realms. And how we're going to do that is we're still going to start off by making uh, our custom world. Uh, so I want to go ahead and just name this uh, realm test. And we're going to want to enable all these experimental features. And then we simply go ahead and create the world. And that's kind of all we need to do when creating an experimental world for a realm. So now that we generated the world, we're going to go ahead and save and exit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use this world, uh, this realm right here. And we're going to go ahead and edit uh, the world real quick. So I want to go ahead and replace this realm with uh, the world that we just made. It should only take a few seconds depending on your internet speed. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and just back out and make sure that the world is saved in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually going to go ahead and import the pack that we want to put on the realm. And then we're going to go ahead and apply that pack uh, to the realm. So do UAC, experimental features required, back out of this so that way it applies the packs. And then we'll go ahead and play. So we should get the exact same welcome message once you're in this uh, this test realm. And we are on kind of a fallen SMP. It's kind of an actor of those, so I, they, they won't mind if I borrow it for about 15 minutes. But as you can see, uh, all the experimental features are showing up. Uh, if we do the game test command, it is there. And if we try to call upon a event, which is basically the main test I ever do, uh, all the events are working, so all experimental features are 100% there on this realm. If this video helped you, uh, maybe hit that subscribe button. Um, also, the links will be in the description below for uh, the UAC, which is the anti-cheat that I have used to test on here, as well as the Ryburn hosting service, uh, which I use for the server hosting, which... Uh, they've made it very, very simple uh, to run packs and experimental features and all that on the BDS platform. And that is about it. This Brett. And that's about it. Uh, this. So do check that out, and it does actually help me a lot if uh, you actually do uh, check their.
below for the UAC add-on that I've been using uh, or the anti-cheat. Uh, and that's about it. I hope this helped you out. If you want to go ahead and check out Wyvern Hosting, uh, which has links also in the description for the UAD. If this did help you out, uh, if this did help you out, cut all that out. Cut all the entire thing out. I don't want it to go back. Either you can come and save me or just let my heart collapse Either you can come and clean me or let me fall into relapse Either you can come and save it or just stab me in the back I don't want it to go back, I don't want it to go back Yeah.